Today we're going to look at what I call bandpass EQing. I'm just using high and low pass filters to clear out any kind of sonic junk that may be lurking in your mix. And for this we're going to use the McDSP Filter Bank 2. So what I did there was I swept up the lower frequencies until I heard it affecting the signal and then I pulled it back and I repeated that on the top end. I'm doing this in solo mode and a little later you'll see how we do it out of solo to make some clarity. So now let's try the kick drums. So we have three kick drum sources. Let's move on from our PZM kick to our D112 mic. And now our Yamaha sub kick. and snare drum. Now while listening to all the drum tracks together, I'm going to use this EQ method to clear up some overlapping frequencies in the highs and lows. Check it out. So let's listen to our hi-hat track soloed. So you can see how bad that sounds soloed, but we don't listen to music soloed, so there's a band pass EQ.